taking a step back in time. We do it every Monday here on Daybreak during Storytime with Ann Phil. This week, author Laurel Downing Bill shows us where you can literally take those steps to learn about one of Anchorage's first Ship Creek settlers. 420 M Street, also known as the Oscar Anderson Home Museum. The house, a first here in Anchorage, built for the city's first butcher. So, Laurel, how did Oscar Anderson go from cutting meat to owning the city's first frame home? Well, first he had to get here. He was a Swedish immigrant who left Seattle by a ship and got into Seward, and then he spent three days walking from Seward to Kinnick. Kinnick wasn't good enough. He set his sights for across the Cook Inlet. Why was that? Well, because he'd heard about the big settlement at Ship Creek. You know, they were building the Alaska Railroad. The plans were in play. And he claims he was the 18th person, just the 18th to step foot here at Ship Creek. After that, he finally gets set up and he gets the butcher business going, right? He went into business with another gentleman and they uh, opened up the first butcher shop in Anchorage. It was called the Ship Creek Meat Market, um, where Stuart Photo is today. So if you pass by on 4th Avenue, Stuart Photo, that building's been here a really, really long time. His home was eventually put on the National Register of Historic Homes as the first framed home. What does that mean? Well, it means that in the early days, 1915, all the people that arrived pitched tents. So it was actually called Tent City for a while, and you see old pictures with mud and tents everywhere. So this was the very first home that was constructed with wood and put up, so it's the first framed home. Years later, now a museum. That's right. People can go and visit and tour, and they'll see things like a player piano, wind-up phonograph. They even have a uh, wire soap saver. Just some really cool things that they can check out. And some people say it's haunted because when Oscar Anderson died in 1974 at the age of 91 and a young couple bought it, they would claim that they could hear footsteps on the staircase. And one day they tried to get into Oscar Anderson's bedroom upstairs and they couldn't get the door open. And they discovered that a chest had mysteriously been put in front of the door to block its entrance. So Anderson's wife, Elizabeth, said she's not surprised because Oscar loved that house so much. She says, yeah, it makes sense that he's still there. So if you're into haunted houses or maybe just a little bit of actual history, this would be a great place to get a little bit, potentially, of both. The Oscar Anderson Home Museum has 45-minute guided tours between now and August 31st. It's every day between noon and 4 p.m., except on Mondays. It's 10 bucks for adults, $5 for Alaska residents, and kids ages 3 to 12. And when you go in there, a lot of the things have been donated to mm -hmm. the, the home museum because it would have been um, there in that time frame. A lot of them though, even the butcher block that they have in the kitchen was actually Oscar Anderson's butcher block. Wow. Which is crazy to think Stewart's photo there on 4th Avenue was the original location. Yeah, pretty cool history uh, preserved pretty nicely there. Yeah, first framed home. That was fancy. They even have a article was, yeah. of the newspaper saying, you know, this home will be open for Oscar Anderson. They actually have the newspaper clipping oh, wow. in the home. So the meat business was a good business back then. It was. <laughs> and the preservation that they did for the home, too, they, you can see all, like, the cleaning and the layers between the paint that they had to preserve inside. And so when you go on that tour, they'll give you all the history of how they actually were yeah. able to preserve it. Cool stuff.